everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Battalion Wars Revisited. Last time, we begun the invasion of Exylvania and crossed the bridges on the River Styx with relative ease, even though we did lose some troopers during that. We lost four heavy tanks and like a small squad of infantry, and yet I was still pretty good with technique. Hmm. Anyways, it's time for us to start beginning our long trek to the Exylvania capital, but... Some tells me it's not going to be an easy drive. The Exylvania capital is within striking distance. A successful assault requires the deployment of our heavy ar armor. Guide your battle station through the row of bones, but take heed of reports of unidentified units in this region. What is this place, Countess? It was here that the lightning war with the Solar Empire was ended. units in this area. Maybe the Exylvanians are deploying some new kind of weaponry. And there are unidentified aircraft patrolling the skies. If they turn out to be hostile, use your missile vets to take them down. Whatever happens, intelligence suggests we're gonna be in for one heck of a fight when we assault those strongholds. All right, it's a long road, a long drive, and then a long fight. Ahead. Let's go, boys. It's heavily fortified with artillery emplacements and pillboxes. And she ain't kidding. There are two encampments. Yeah, two encampments that we had to break through. We've got a lot of Exylvanians here. We got a lot of pillboxes that we get to fight through. We got a, a small duo of artillery. We got some grunts around here. We got a squad of Exylvanian troops right here. But that's not all that we got. We got some unidentified units out here. We got some bazooka vets, some grunts, and heavy tanks as well. And some gunships. So we're going to need to be very careful proceeding through the Exylvanian heartlands. There's actually something really funny about this final area here, but I'll get to it when I get to it. As for now, we got a pretty sizable battalion. We got all you sixes. Oh, jeez. Exylvanian soil now, Brigadier Betty. And I will make you pay for every inch you advance forward. Got a lot of ground forces that we have at our disposal. Uh, buddy, what are you doing? I think he's taking a liking to me. I get wanting to give, give your life for your nation, but... Okay, 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 wow, he really is determined to take out that pillbox. I salute your bravery, but it's a very stupid cow bravery. Alright, let's send the troops up just so they can get out of range of the artillery. But, yeah. Uh, we got six of every type of trooper. We got six bazookas. We got six assaults, six grunts, and six uh, missile vets. And, of course, our lovely, lovely battle station. This is all that we have throughout this entire mission. So, if we lose anybody here, well, my job's going to be that much harder. Just want to pause and uh, make note of that. Who made that boy jump out of there? Alright, 
Ground forces, you take care of that. I will take care of the artillery sitting back here. Or not. I guess once I close the distance, the artillery's kind of powerless against me. The only thing I really do need to worry about are the pillboxes around here. So the pillboxes both serve as anti-vehicle and anti... Wow, just lost a... that already. Anti-vehicle and anti-infantry positions. Oh, I can't break through that. Okay, then. Uh-oh. Guys, go get him! So we are now properly introduced to the Legion. The Legion are the most powerful units in the entire game. Uh, so there's something actually kind of special about this game that I never really went into, and I don't think it really warrants a pre-video discussion. But all nations actually had special attributes related to their troopers. Uh, the Western Frontiers, the troops are all pretty balanced in all terms of like health, offense, defense, and whatnot. Uh, Exylvania was more strong in offense, whereas Tundra was more strong in defense, and the Solar Empire has the most health out of any ground units or any units in the entire game. The Iron Legion has a boost to all attributes. They are the most health-filled, most defensive, and most uh, powerful units in the entire game. They are a pretty significant threat, more so in this level, because throughout the entirety of it, uh, Legion gunships are going to be hounding us throughout our trek through this long road. I will be periodically checking the map because usually like after, I want to say five minutes that you pass through, after you take out one gunship wave, the other ones are going to start spawning in from the mountains to the sides. Another good indicator about the Legion gunships is they have a very, very easy tell. If you hear a heavy whirling sound, that Where means that one's uh, coming towards you. Looks like the Legion has turned on the Exophanian army. They're running scared. Come on, guys. There we go, finally. I raised you as my own daughter. There we go. Ingrid? Who is Ingrid? We are Legion. We shall destroy you all. It seems you are truly lost, my child. And the world shall pay a terrible price for your lust for power. I honestly don't think it was more so a lust for power, Vad. I think it was more out of pure desperation than the fact that you're losing this war. So we're just going to punch through these lines, take out these makeshift barricades that the Legion has set up out of these like old ruin pieces. I don't know why that guy was talking about a taco. Okay, take a shot at the pillbox. It's obviously that this thing was captured by the Legion. And let's just keep pushing up through here and keep threatening the ground forces at those bazooka vets because my guns aren't really that suited for them. I can break barricades easily, I can rattle grunts of, like, nobody's business, but when it comes to the Zooka Vets, I might have a bit of a problem. Right, I just want you yeah, here comes the next wave of gunships. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. Who the hell's all the way out there? Oh, just a missile vet. Okay, they're still waiting. They're probably going to attack as soon as we clear out the fortress here. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to put the battalion right here while I go take care of the heavy tanks real quick. And by heavy tanks, I mean heavy tank. Yeah. Okay. 
especially since there's flame vents in here. The flame vents are actually kind of one of the coolest ones because they have this like sick signature scream to them, and it's actually a uh, lore wise that it drives the user insane whenever they use the flamethrowers. Yep, there we go. This is the reason why I wanted to keep the battalion back there, so they could uh, just direct the uh, missile vents towards the gunships that are attacking. I don't know why. This mission, the missile vents are the most brain dead in the entire series. For the most part, they will ignore orders to attack the gunships, or their shots will mainly just get caught up on the landscape around them. So, in my opinion, it's actually best to put them into defense mode and just let them just wail up on the gunship. Oh, there we go, finally. Ugh, it's hideous. Get rid of it. I can't, I'm um, just hurt myself. Okay, I think I saw some tents up ahead so we can just go uh, heal up from there. Hopefully they carry jerry cans. But yeah, I, my tip for this mission, don't really put uh, your missile vets into attack mode. If you hear gunships coming, put them into defense mode and just let them take care of them by themselves because they are more capable when you do that. Snipe these pillboxes real this quick. Delta Company got wiped out three days ago. Oh man, I like Delta Company. They helped us with the Iron Eight by giving us their missile vets. Well, I guess it's a good thing they got transferred to my company instead of being stuck in Delta. Don't worry, the losses won't be in vain. We'll finish this war once and for all, boys. And just to be checking, because I'm a bit paranoid. Okay, the next minute gunships is on its way. Probably when we pass through here. So I don't think it's really on a timer base. I think it's just based off of position is when the next wave of gunships come out. Yep, I hear the whirling. Yep, see, the, uh, another reason they get caught on the battalion a lot as well. Okay, I should want to work on them real quick. Alright, alright. Nice shot, boys. Oh, I don't know how we missed one. Another ground force is looking surprisingly healthy, aside from one grunt. That was just a really unlucky assault vet. Now, I'm going to laugh if that actually was the assault vet that decided to charge headfirst into the pillbox. Alright, there's no ground forces there, but there is the heavy tank back there I want to take a pot shot at. Really? There, another wave is coming? Yeah, let's pick up the jerry can, heal up real quick. I hear the whirling. You can't hide that thing from me, especially since I see you just floating right there. Looks like you guys just go after the gunship. There we go. I guess he was just more of a scout than an attacker? He was just spotting for the rest of the Legion or something? I don't know. Guys, seriously? Well, maybe if you took care of him in a, in a timely manner, you wouldn't be under attack now, would you, buddy? Another heavy tank, I believe, is right over this hill. Yep, there he is, just nestled right down there. This, I, oh, there's two heavy tanks. All right, well, let's back up a bit. Let's have the boys fall back a bit. Oh, do you actually manage to get him? Nicely done. Actually, you know what? I hear whirling coming this way. I'm gonna take one of my bazooka vets and head over to the other heavy tank to take care of it. I can outmaneuver him easily, and it, since it's a really awkward position for the battle station, I'd much rather just use a pursuit event to take care of him. And it looks like the gunships decided to take a liking to me. Alright, job well done, boys. Back into our big, beautiful battle station. So far, ground forces are doing pretty well. I guess because they're doing a good job of grabbing their med kits. Alright, there we go. Alright, 
Let's get the boys falling behind us. And with that, we are at the home stretch. We shall crush you! We shall have our revenge! I sense unresolved issues. How about you, Commander? Uh, I think it's more possession. Get the rolling. Angle it just like that. That should land right on top of it. Ooh, nice. Wasn't right on top of it, but it was like right in front of him. Uh, a bit higher. One more should do it. Alright, good. Alright, so I think we just got a... Okay, we got a trio of heavy tanks. A squad of rifle grunts, which actually they, does take into effect account to the cutscene because of the fact that the grunts here actually did take significant damage from the Exovanes that were stationed back here. But we also have a heavy tank to contend with as well. Now, I could fight them, but there's actually an alternative path that you can just go around the heavy tanks and just go to the end of the mission if you just go that way. You're protected from the gunships that attack you, as well as the fact that the heavy- Oh, God! As well as the fact that uh, the tanks won't get attracted to you either. Alright, I actually want him to draw, draw fire to me. Oh boy. Dazzle dazzle faster. Don't hit the heavy tank. And line it up. And the crowd goes wild. Yeah, that was a pretty good shot. Alright. Target him. I see you flying back there. after him because I need to heal badly. Boys. Uh, why are all my missile vets all the way in the very back? Oh, okay. I don't know what took out the gunship. Cause I guess a couple of my bazooka bats got lucky because it definitely wasn't my missiles. Alright, actually, before we could do that, I'm gonna go over here and see if there's any health for my battle station. Yep, there we go. It's times like this, I wish this thing had a rotating turret on it. A heavy wind of gunships coming my way. Yep, here they come. Uh, you bet, Jerry can. Boys, I could use some help here. But I got one. on our battle station here, folks. Unless I get stupid lucky. Nope, I hear the whirling. Another gunship is on its way over. Okay, well, at the very least, I can hopefully snipe this heavy tank and steal his jerry can. Or I can just snipe the tank and he just won't give two dams about it. All right. Oh boy. Enemy fly, boy. Really close here, folks. Uh, get it. Good. Enemy 
<sighs> Somehow, some way, we managed to make it through this entire thing with only one casualty. We made it, Commander! Now, tear down those statues of Kaiser Vlad! He ain't in charge around here anymore! Plus, they're kind of an eyesore with all the chunks taken out of it. So let's take a few more out. Good job, Commander! We're one step closer to winning this war for the forces of freedom and democracy! Just let that one vet that's just celebrating just off screen. Yeah, I kind of figured with the fact that I kept lining up so many of my shots that I was only going to get an A rank with that speed. I'm actually kind of curious to see what the speed rating for an S rank in this level is, but hey, we managed to keep 100% technique and 100% power, which I feel like we should have gotten 99% technique since we did lose that assault vet, but oh well, I'll take it. Just glad that speed didn't punish us more than it already did. And there is where the campaign floor bonus. Yep, and so far, pretty close to being able to get uh, the unlock for it. But we'll have to say that for next time. And as for next time, next time on Battalion Wars Revisited, it's time for us to go and continue on through the Exylvanian Heartlands and hopefully be able to deal with the Legion now on top of the Exylvanians as we travel to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldiers. See you guys next time. Later.